Hello everyone, my name is Fernando De La Cruz and thank you so much for joining my channel today. Today we're going to be talking about a program that not a lot of people are talking about these days. It's called Story Architect, known as Stark. So, not, not the Stark from the Avengers, but I noticed that when I went on the website it was called Stark. So a lot of people these days, they use Celtics, they use Writer's Duet, or another one that a lot of people use that not a lot of writers can afford. It's called Final Draft. Not a lot of us have uh, $200 to throw out there, you know? So, unless you get a good sale. But I found a program called Story Architect, which it's not like, it's not like a program that's in the cloud, just like Writer's Duet or Celtics, but it's a, it's a downloadable program that you can find on the website and you can download for free. There's a lot of things you can do with it for free. And I'm gonna change the camera to the computer and show you all what it's like to be on it. So let's do that. Three, two, one, bah! All right, are you one? As soon as you go on your web browser, just type in stark.app, S-T-A-R-C.app, and you should see this website. It says right here, like TV series support, all episodes within one project, all in one, characters, no locations, all this fun jazz, all for free. Click download and try, and mine's already downloaded, so I'll just open it right here. And you should see this right here. Now I'm gonna be blocking these out because I don't want you guys to see my upcoming projects just yet. So whenever you open the, whenever you install it, I don't need to explain it to you, it's really self-explanatory. Whenever you install Story Architect, this, this right here should be blank. You would click Create Story and name it. So let's put the, unknown and then it'll be a screenplay it could also be used for comic books too which i don't quite understand that one just yet but like i said it's it literally just came out like the new version just came out like a couple weeks ago whenever you type in your title click create and then boom you could create a short description or synopsis you can add the cover right here you can add your characters right here um but the characters like for example, let's say uh, Ezekiel. You type in your character's name and you'll put it in their photo, their name, their role, age, gender, their description. And you want to go in depth for description, put it right here. It is intense on what you can do. What is the relation? So in here, you can type in your synopsis and then your treatment and then screenplay. So screenplay, you can just type in heading. So Da, 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 da. heading and then type in what the heck is going on the action and then tab the character's name so Ezekiel is one of them type in the dialogue and so on and you can do the whole transition thing cut to and I don't need to explain that to y'all I'm sure there's many websites out there that teach you how to write a script but whenever you're done what I like about this is that like you can leave comments for yourself. Like, let's say you wanna, you're writing something, and you're like, hmm, do I really want this? And then you t you can click comment, and you can type, uh, like, come back to this to edit comment. Sorry, I left the caps on. And then you can go from there, and it'll be highlighted for you to go back to. It'll be right here. Now, what timing right here? The one thing I'm wondering about this, I think I could be wrong, but I think this also gives you. Uh, a ballpark of how long your film will be as well. So right now we're at like, what, three seconds. So of course it's just page one. Um, also, you can go to statistics and it tells you how many scene headings you have, action, dialogue, um, location statistics, well, how many of it's outside or inside. So for example, one of them is inside. Well, I didn't type it in, so uh, interior. Blah, blah blah and then you go to statistics it will say well usually me i did it wrong yo listen i'm i'm still learning this program so <laughs> um so hold on there we go see int and then interior let's say house okay and then you go to statistics and you'll see right here there's one interior so it shows you the percentage of what's outside what's inside and so on and so on and so on Character statistics, how many, who's the most spoken, who doesn't speak at all, who's the main character, la 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 la. So also you can go to the title page. So you can type in 
the title. So ours would be the unknown. Unknown and written by your name and name of first author or based on if it's a true story. And then on the bottom right here, which I usually do this, you can put your address phone number and then whenever you're done, all you have to do is click Alt E. Alt E and then you can even place uh, your own watermark as well. So let's type in, uh, so let's say, like I can put my name, and uh, Cruz. Oh, sorry, it's not professional, but like, I'm just trying to give you all the rundown what you all could do here. Then click export, and then, and you click export, and then once you're done, it shows you all this, the unknown. I think I spelled it. Yeah, I did spell it wrong. Now, this is the free program. And you get all of this for free. Now, if you want to get more features, you would have to go click pricing. And I can show you right here. So this is what you get for free. A limited number of projects. A lot of times when you use subscription-based writing programs, you have to pay monthly. Of course, obviously. But when you do the free version, like Celtic or Writer's Duet, a lot of times you only get like up to, I think Writer's Duet, you get up to two, or, and then Celtics, you get to three. Um, so with this, you get unlimited number of projects, a limited number of documents, folders, text, basic info, as you saw with the characters. The most you can do is uh, one sentence. Hey! Hey, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. So it's like, wait, 24, undefined, so male. Hey, yo, and then you add a photo. Never mind. So actually for free, I didn't even see, I'm, I literally just downloaded this three days ago. So, and I've been writing scripts, as you saw the three, I've been drawing stories off, I'm transferring, I'm transferring all my stories from Celtics to here. And as you can see, you get all of this, you get the basic info and whatnot. Wow, this is so cool. Ah! Oh, excuse me. Um, anyway, so so you get the basic info of the character, basic info of the location, log and line synopsis, title page, treatment text, screenplay text, basic statistics, and so on and so on and so on. And it's at the it's still being made. So you can do have a cover generator planned for this year. So if you wanna when you go back. So when you go back and you show stories, it will show movie titles. So that would be this one. And you can change the cover. And I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be a cover generator where it will help you, like almost like how Canva does their thing. You can create it through that. And let's see what else we got here. So you get all of that title page. I don't know why I didn't put it there because it's already there. And but when you pay, you see, you could pay five dollars monthly, or you can get the pro version for only eighty dollars. That is that is ridiculous. Whereas Final Draft, two hundred dollars. Well, now I'm not downing Final Draft, it is industry standard. When you're starting out and just trying this right script, you just want to get straight to it and you don't want to pay monthly. Writers Duet, not writers, oh my gosh, excuse me, Story Architect. You get a lot for free. Whereas if you pay for a lifetime, $80. Mind maps. Which all this is all planned for 2022. Mind maps. Image gallery. Image editor. What? Image editor? Web page links. All of this. All of this for $80. Now this, I'm not sure what's the difference between these two. I guess you can get more for $10 a month. Oh, that's what it is. So when you pay $10 a month, you get cloud storage. So if you guys want to be able to do this on the road, um, I'm not sure where the cloud, where it is, if it's on here or whatnot, they haven't really explained that yet. Like I said, it's still in the works, but all you can do with for, for $8, all, all this, or even free, the things you can do with this, it's, it, it blows my mind. Like I literally just started using this. Like I, I'm not going to lie to y'all. <laughs> I'm still learning how to use this thing, but it's so, so cool. And there's something, there's all other things as well. They're still, as you can see, whenever you click something, it says, oops, looks like Andrew, this dog is not implemented yet. They're still updating this program. But for the little you can do, 
the little you can do. It blows my mind. But yeah, that story architect. And I advise all filmmakers who are trying to get a program that's free and you get all this to a point, all this stuff for free for Linux, even Linux, even Linux. This is how many people look at this. You see what I'm saying? Not a lot of people know about this. I'm trying to get them out there, man. Like for real. This place is the way to go. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking now. So, if you need a program that's free, that doesn't require you to do monthly payments and is not a huge payment like Final Draft, Story Architect is the way to go. It's simple, it gets a job done, it gets everything that you need. A lot of people that are starting out or don't wanna pay monthly payments for a program, uh, Story Architect is the way to go. But yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope this video helped you out. And until next time, see ya. Bye.